past fatal heart impact, past painful scars. In fact, I blast tasteful bars and past I back up my actions. Back on mass, grab reactions, jack attack with every word and act with class as they hear me snap. I got nothing to lose, cause I fought and felt the bruise. Now I'm not the one confused, call the shots and they produce. I ain't lost, I'm finally loose. Pick a new so bird's juice. I need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used. Everybody wants a peace now, y'all can rest in peace now. You're dead to me, so peace out. Remember you're discreet now. Get ready for the Alrighty. Hello, hello, everybody. This is Kiru's show here. And now, whenever we last left off with this series, Deku, yeah. In an attempt to change the future, Deku and his familia, they, attempted to try to take on the League of Villains. The League of Villains preemptively attacked the Hero Association building, where many pro heroes were injured and killed, including All Might. Now, Deku's entire reason for doing this was because of what the future Bakugo told him whenever the version of him from 10 years later used a piece of its ammunition and teleported his past self to the future. Now. The outcome Deku's currently in is far better than what would have happened today. This morning, at exactly this time, Deku's familia, they would have been caught at Class 1A. They all would have been put under arrest, and some of them would have gone to prison. Others would have been able to escape the restraints and bindings, and been able to go on the lam and run, before a prison break, and eventual conflict again, where some of them would have died. Now, Deku, yeah. He knows that right now, his whole idea for changing the future was probably pretty stupid, since he's currently laying in a hospital bed in some random location. He doesn't know. Now, Deku is still just laying there, and trying to think about everything. His mom's gone. His identity is Izuku Midoriya. That's basically in shambles now because of the League of Villains. They framed them by saying they're part of the Shiha Saikai. But how would they know? They don't know what type of mafia family they're in. It's just quite weird to him. Now, this is actually where Vangola 9, along with somebody, do come walking into the room. Deku actually going to turn his head as he does see both of them. Now, Deku does go to sit up and go to throw down his legs to the ground. As he does at least stay seated that way. Yes, Vingola 9. Hmm. Decimo. <sighs> Did your plan work? Not entirely. It's all not too good. I don't think we can change the future, no matter how much we try. All Might wasn't supposed to die. Hm. I see. However, you managed to save them, correct? We did. Except for there's a problem. Well, we fucked up. A lot of villains, they managed to take out heroes, including All Might. There's my former teacher, who I encountered and had to knock out, which was not very fun. And then there's the fact that I made a choice. I thought by putting my familia in front of my revenge, I'd be able to stop this from happening. But I couldn't. I feel so fucking stupid. If I just killed him. Maybe that was the answer. Killing Shigaraki. Maybe that was where I went wrong. Maybe I don't need to be soft anymore. Maybe I... Now you're starting to think like a mafioso. Now, Deku does look up to the person standing with Vingola 9. That man who's standing there, he's not someone he's ever seen before. And then there's the fact that he's... Well, a little intimidating with the scars on his face. Maybe you aren't such a wuss after all. 
Am I sure I was even really needed to be here? No. Mergula 9 does turn to Zanzas and talk about how, yes, he does need to be. No. 9 does introduce the man, talking about how he's a leader of an assassination squad for the Mafia. And Deku does look back up towards him, as the man he does have a cocky smirk on his face. And here I've heard the little rumors about you being such a little bitch. Really? Yes. Not much information is known about you. All we know is you're some corkless kid from Japan. Hell. Can't even fucking stand up for yourself. Now, Deku Yaksha is going to stand. Ask him if he does want to repeat that sentence. As he is going to bring up his hand and... You do actually have where his glove or his ring does start to emit flames. As the maid actually does go to step forwards, telling Deku that he's not here for his fucking pity party. He's here to train his ass. And if he's just going to lie in bed all day, then he'll leave. Hmm? Train me? Yes. Deku turned to nine. I believe that they need to train you. Hmm? Why? Because your performance today was good. However, you almost lost against them. But we didn't. I understand that. Other members of your familia, however, they have suffered injuries as well. And at the current rate that they are going, if that familia is to be encountered again by you, they might have tricks up their sleeves. You stole that one man's Vangola box, or his box weapon, correct? I did. And so Red Storm Flame class? Yes. Good. For right now, you'll be using that as your box weapon. Until I can get you another one. Hmm? Alright, but what about my other box? Hmm? Yeah, the one with the Albarino seals on it. Ah. So. That box weapon is one you should be aware is quite dangerous. Okay, but what about it? When can I go through the trials to open it? The trials? Yes. I see. Well, I've been thinking about that myself. <sighs> that box, it won't be used this year. No. Now, Nine does look at Decima. As Deku does step forward, informing him that he wants to use this box weapon. He was given it for a reason. To fight. If he doesn't have it, it's basically just a useless square little, well, what, placeholder? It doesn't matter. He needs an actual weapon to fight other than just with his gloves. He doesn't care. He'll see if he can even find a way to make one. He can do it. He just needs time and understand how these things work. <laughs> uh, those box weapons are very complicated to manufacture, young man. The simple fact that we have access to these little design or little weapons is all thanks to one simple person. What? Yes. In fact, he completely changed the way the Mafia worlds work because of these little devices. And I believe you will meet him one day. W wait, hang on. I, I'm going to meet him one day? Yes. And, well, I believe I can have a little bit of a incentive for you. Now, Deku, he's curious now about this incentive. You believe that you're strong, yes? I do. Perfect. Hey, I'm going to bring his hand up and informing him that if he can beat Zanzas here in at least one fight, then he'll award him with a box weapon of the Sky Class. Wait, hang on, really? Yes, there's your challenge. However, there is going to be a bit of a little gap about this. Six months. Huh? Six months. With your current progress, your unlocked flames, and all of your training, you should be able to at least put, pull it off within that time frame. However, at the same time, Zanza's here will also be training himself. Hmm? So I'm not training the runt then? No, you will be. 
However, I do believe as he does catch up to you, you will find ways to outmaneuver him. You are a hitman after all. Wait, I get it. So, what do I get if I win? Hmm. Well, what do you want? You know what I want. I see. Wait, hang on. What is his prize if he does win? Hmm. That's simple. You will step down. What? Hang on. You can't be... Yes, I am very serious. You will step down as Vengola 10, and he will step up. But, hang on. What does that mean for my... Your familia? Your guardians. It does mean a few things. However, I do believe that that mainly will focus on you. You may be thrown out of the picture, and in fact you might serve in the Mafia in places like your father. Okay, I don't even know what the fuck that man does, so first of all, don't call him my father. That man hasn't been around me for the last ten years of my life, I could give less of a shit about him anymore. Now, Zanzas does look at that, f well, face deck he was making, as he does at least feel a bit of familiarity in that tone of voice as well. So, that's what the kid does feel. Now, this is actually where Deku, he does agree to these terms. Talking about how he'll take on Zanzas for his reward, or a box weapon that he can use. Now, Zanzas does at least want to spar with Deku and see where he does lie. As he does grab him by his shirt and go to drag him out of the room. Now, Deku is surprised as he does find that this, well, room or hallway is very large. Asking exactly where they are as Zanzas does inform him. The Vangola, they have facilities all around Japan and all around the world. This is one of these such facilities. Now, Deku's surprised to hear that. Okay, but that didn't really solve the issue here. Now, Zanzas does continue talking, as the two do walk down the hallway, talking about how this is the Vengola base number, insert number here. Now, he talks about how this base was developed and built in secret. They are currently under the mountain, and well, it's quite simple. The town Deku does stay in, his former home is roughly about 20 to 50 miles from here. And there's also the fact that they are somewhere around 5 to 10 miles underground. Now, that does surprise Deku. 10 miles underground? Yes. Currently, this area that we're in, it's considered to be illegal to mine in this operation area. Along with even really get close to the depth where we're at. It's considered to be what? A preserve or park area. I'm not too sure. I could care less about that. However, I do just know it's here. Now, Deku and Zanzas, they do face off against one another in a large training room. As we do actually have our Deku, him and the Mandu stare at each other. Now, we will cut over to Deku's familia, where Bakugo and Todoroki, they're actually sitting in the kitchen, along with even Kendo and Momo, who are both sitting down and trying to relax with a cup of tea. Now, this is actually where Kendo and Momo, they're both talking. Kendo is very concerned. Deku disappeared in the forest for 10 minutes, and then whenever he came back, he just seemed different. The attitude changed, the whole personality flip on a fly? She doesn't know if he's okay or not. Now, we do actually have Bakugo, who he does go to set down a plate and go to rinse off his hands, informing Kendo that he's pretty sure that Izuku will be fine. He's a strong guy. In fact, well, he's gone through a lot of shit. Back whenever they were in middle school, he did give him a hard time whenever he did find out that he could use the Vongola Flame, or the Sky Flame, since he originally thought it was a quirk. 
him and his friends used to, well, bully with him or bully him around and mess with him. But over time, eventually, when he was recruited, he found that he could start to use his own flames. Now, Kenna was quite surprised. This guy used to bully Deku? No. You do actually have where Balker talks about how, if anything, they have to watch out for Deku would have to be the ones watching out for them. Since they all do need to catch up to him because he's so, this being where the room does sh well, shake, and everyone need to go to look at each other. Shit. Uh, what happened? I don't know, that seems kind of... The room was shaking once again. As Yudokshia were reborn, he does go from sipping espresso on the table to going to sit it down and going to run to see what's happening. Now, everyone does chase after reborn. As they have to get into an elevator, go down a few levels, and even run down the hallway to this room. Where we actually do have Deku and Zanzas, who are still facing off against one another. Now, the door does open as the room does shake, and they actually see Deku who's basically been smashed into a wall, and Zanzas who is just staying there, with two guns at the ready. Now, Bako he actually is going to bring up his hand and smash his fist into his box, as gloves and boots do form on him and he just go rushing forwards, talking about how the bastard is after the boss. Now, as Baku does rush in, you actually have where he does turn his head, bringing up the gun and going to fire right at Bakugo. Bakugo going to try and dodge out of the way that is just going to rush in forwards and go for an explosion. Now, we do actually have Deku who does inform Bakugo not to attack him. As Bakugo, he does turn to look towards Deku, as Zanzas does directly fire a bullet, or fire, well, sky flames, right into Bakugo's leg. And Bakugo, he does actually have his leg go down further as he's going to fall forwards. As Deku does talk about how this man is the one training him. Now, everyone does just think, training? Literally, this entire floor was shaking, and you call that training? Now, Zanzas does talk about how they are all very weak, and they all shouldn't be members of the Vangola. The Varya are far stronger, and this is just it. Vangola 9, he, has given Deku an option, or rather, more or less, a bit of a, what's the right word I'm looking for? Ultimatum, there we go. If Deku can't defeat him within six months or six months, he will lead their familia. And whenever he does lead their familia, he is kicking all of them out of the Vangola. Now, everyone does just stare at this man. And Deku does look at Zanzas quite confused. Why? Hmm? Please, all of you are children. Along with that, there's the fact that all of you are weak. Hmm? Yes, but their faces are known. And you can all fend for yourselves for all I care. That's none of my concern. No. Deku does get angry. As he does go to rush in directly at Xanthus, blasting at him with his full power and going for an attack. Now, Xanthus does use his guns to fire backwards as he does move around and begin to start maneuvering in the air. And everyone they do see this. This guy's flying just like Deku. Along with that, they have similar flames. What are they? Their flames look like sky flames with their coloration. They look a little bit different. They can't pinpoint it. Now, Deku does chase after the man. As he does actually go to blast him with full power and go to bring up his hand. As the man he does go to blast Deku with, well, his guns. And then Deku does at least do one thing. He does bring his hands up and directly do the same thing he saw Vingola 9 do. As the guy just watches Deku whenever he does bring up his hands, whenever the flame did smash right into him or blast right into him, Deku did go to bring up his hands to freeze it. Now, Zanzas was quite confused. He thought Deku was going to do something else, but apparently he just froze it in midair. Okay, that's good. If he doesn't know that technique yet, then he'll at least be better off. For the moment, the kid almost actually startled him. 
Now, with that, Deku, yeah, he gets his ass handed to him. And, well, yeah. Afterwards, his familia is there to patch him up. Now, we do actually have later, where Deku, he's sitting down to dinner with his familia, and he does look around the table. All of them are silently eating, and, well, not really saying a single thing. As Deku does break the silence, I'm sorry, everyone. Now, everyone do go to... I would, that everyone does get to set down their forks and look towards him. Uh, I'm sorry that I dragged you all into this. Along with that, now I have to beat that bastard. Hmm? Izuku, you let me... Sorry, just... I'm very sorry. All of your families are in hiding with the Mafia now. All this shit going on right now is because of me. I dragged you all into this. And now if I don't beat that guy, we're all gonna... <laughs> Fuck. Now, everyone does stare at Deku. As Baku does talk about how Deku, he's putting too much blame on himself. Huh? We're your familia, dumbass. And you're the boss. You're supposed to take on responsibility. However, all of us knew what was happening when we got dragged into this. Yeah, we did. Now, Moda's gonna bring up her hands. Talking about how her father, he's actually offered to help her out. Now, Deku's quite confused when he does hear those words. Hmm? Help us out? What do you mean? Well, since my family is rich, we don't really need to go into hiding very often. Or, well, e even at all. All we would really need to do is say we're going on a vacation, book a cruise around the world, and, well, hide on one Well, every one of them we're said to be on. When, in reality, we could literally just go to, what, Fiji? Or possibly even stay in America somewhere. Okay, wow. Yeah. My dad's given me a few clues about some money he stashed somewhere. Wait, your dad has money stashed? Not really. He kind of just buried a duffel bag and harassing a location. Talking about how it's supposed to be full of this amount of money. And that it should keep them running for a few days. And then there's the fact that with her mistering, she can actually start to impersonate people, or even take on different appearances. Wait, when did you start to be able to do that? Oh, it's uh, hard to do, but I've been learning it in my free time. Now, Deku just stare at her. When could she do this? How much has everyone else been improving? Has he not been paying attention to them as much? No. We do actually have Reborn. Who does go to speak up? Informing Deku that his familia, they are training hard to master their flames. And Deku, with the one with the most experience with flames, he himself needs to learn how to master his new power. He saw it earlier. He was hesitant. He was slow. He was trying to stay within his normal perimeters. However, he didn't know how much power to exactly output. Yeah, Reborn. I'm gonna try and do stuff after dinner. That's good. Right now you're fighting for the sake of your familia. And if you do fail, then that does mean bad things could happen for everyone. Now, Deku's aware of the weight that just been placed on his shoulders. It just keeps getting heavier and heavier and heavier. And, well, he's just trying to think. He's got to be able to do this. No, defeating that guy should be easy. He just has to come up, come up with a strategy. I'll want to figure out what type of flames he exactly does possess. Because the feeling of them, it's weird. Now, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys in the next part.